AFTV um, get away with one today? Oh well, yes, definitely. Um, I don't think we should have won this game to start with. Um, if we look at the Wolves team, um, I felt that um, they look like a, a spider web. Do you know why I say that? Every single player was not like more than 30 to 40 feet away from you know his colleague on the pitch. They were really close to each other. They made sure that they closed us down. Every we're used to then every team that comes here. The other night, Sporting Lisbon done the same. We got to expect that, innit? We got to know that when a team like Wolves comes here, they're going to be well organised, and they're not going to try and give us anything. And don't get me wrong; they executed it brilliantly today. Yeah. But we've got to show a bit more guile than that. And plus, as well, on top of that, we cannot be as sloppy as we were today. We're unbelievably sloppy yeah. today. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. They actually forced us to make those stupid errors. The did they? they? I mean, did on a lot of occasions, no, no, no. Explain, under no pressure, we were just giving the ball away. Let me, let me explain myself to you. Now, like I said before, everyone was very compact in that team. The, the space between each and every one of them was so close. They forced us to make those errors. And because they know that many of the players are not very good on the ball, they were always going to make those mistakes. And that's why we're giving stupid, sloppy passes today. And I'm also going to put a blame on our players and the coach for not getting them ready up here for the game. We were ready for the game against Liverpool, right? Why weren't we ready for this game? Because we underrated the players. Maybe they looked at the record. I think I was looking at some records. They said 1979 was the last time, you know, they beat us. Yeah, but that's a different that's type a, of Wolves. Yeah, whatever, what it, is, got whatever it is. These are still things that they use. You know, they look at all these things as well. You know what? These guys were going to beat them. I actually thought it was going to be an easy win. Only for we to come here and the way they actually played us on the counter-attack. And we were lucky. How many, how many saves did Leno, Leno, Leno give us today? About three or four? Mm. And we're also lucky they hit the bar. So it's this, why can't we play the way we played against Liverpool? Why can't we be revved up like this is a game, like a final? Why? I'm going to ask you. That's a very good, that's what I'm... Is it the manager? Why? Look, there's a little the manager can do. The manager has got staff. The manager can do everything. It's not just the manager that's going to sack these players up. They have sport no, performance. The manager's in charge. He's in charge, yes, but they have sport performance coaches. They have other people that are working alongside this manager. And the players themselves have the responsibility to be revved up for crying out loud. Ozzy was doing what? Shaka was doing what? Almost all the players, the only person that turned up today was Torreira and Leno. So I put the blame on the players as well as the coaching staff. I put the blame on the whole team because they didn't do their job well. And that's why they look very lethargic today going into that game. Can they we look like they have a game plan. Can we bounce back after the international break? We can bounce back because I think... Tough games coming up. Yeah, I know Tottenham is the next game, right? After that. Um, we, no, I think, is it Bournemouth? Yeah, Bournemouth, I think, before Tottenham. Yeah, I mean, we can bounce back, but... For me, I just feel that we need to change our mentality with the way we approach games. That is the major problem we have. If you're going into, the, if you're going into a Liverpool game and you play the way you played last week, then I don't see any reason why you shouldn't have played the way. People will start arguing and say, oh yeah, because we had a midweek game. How many of those players played in the midweek? Not many of them. So that's no excuse. That's no excuse. The same Wolves team that played last week is the same team that, you know, the same um, um, that, that played this week. And the same Arsenal well, that team that actually looked like he was playing this morning. <laughs> don't, don't, let me, don't, let me get, don't let me get started on Kolasinac. But the thing is, I wouldn't really just blame one person. Like I said before, every player was sloppy. The first goal that we, we considered, Shaka was at fault for that. Because I, I really have no idea what he was doing. And there was another chance that you know, Kolasinac gave to them, he gave a wrong pass out. This is what I'm saying. Every single player there were lethargic today. So for me, I think we just need to get the right mentality for all the games that are coming up. And I'm pretty sure Emery is going to do that because you can see it was really, really mad. And one more thing, people were arguing and saying that um, Obi shouldn't have been taken off. I kind of understand the reason why Obi was taken off. The reason he was taken off was because they were really compact in the midfield and he needed more numbers. He needed more numbers in the midfield. That was the reason why it was taken off. It's not because he was playing badly, it's just because he needed more numbers to be able to slice off that defence. Unfortunately, we don't take shots. That's another problem. We need to be taking more shots. I was looking at the stats. The first 20 players, in terms of a shot, only one Arsenal player in Premier League is there, like I said. First 20. That's really poor. It shows that no player in the team likes it. Even Aubameyang doesn't take shots. The, the number of tough shots is taken probably inside the 18 or you know when it just once feels like taking a shot. But we need to improve on taking more shots. That's the only way we can actually beat this kind of stubborn teams. Enough said. Thank you.